and less talk. This is Melbourne's number one music station. Good afternoon, I'm Ron Wilson. There's been another attack on Melbourne paramedics. After responding to an emergency in Coburg, a male patient grabbed a female paramedic around the neck and punched her in the face. Tony Walker from Ambulance Victoria says the man was drug affected. Bystanders saw the commotion and the ambulance was stationary at the time and have actually opened the door and helped them. Um, and they've helped uh, the paramedics then restrain the person while they sedated him. The trial of a drug to slow the progress of Parkinson's disease has received a five-year funding commitment from the federal government. The Garvin Institute of Medical Research will get an extra $30 million for the project. Health Minister Greg Hunt says more than 100,000 Australians are living with the disease. As somebody who has, has witnessed this and seen the impact, I know that this matters. Prime Minister Scott Morrison says he has no plans to shake up his front bench after three ministers decided not to contest the upcoming election. One suggestion is that Aboriginal envoy Tony Abbott should be elevated into the Indigenous Affairs portfolio to replace Nigel Scullion. I won't be making any changes to my team before the election and I've got a great um, pool of talent to draw from uh, in a re-elected Morrison government. And Racing Victoria has confirmed it has been conducting an investigation into the activities of licensed persons in the Warrnambool and Ballarat areas. It comes after the arrest of Melbourne Cup winning trainer Darren Weir and two other men on his properties early this morning. They're being questioned in relation to alleged corrupt betting matters. Don't miss Hedrina's massive store-wide savings on now with up to 70% off. Visit Hedrina Collins Place in the CBD today. In sport, the AFL women's competition starts on Saturday when new team Geelong kicking off the season when they host Collingwood. Tom Lynch is recovering well from his knee surgery and is on track for round one in Richmond Colours on March 13. And Qatar will play Japan in the final of the Asian Cup on Saturday after thumping the UAE 4-0. Has your doctor diagnosed you with iron deficiency and recommended a therapeutic iron supplement? Ferrograd C is the brand more women choose. Use only as directed. Smooth weather. The chance of a shower with a possible thunderstorm, a morning shower tomorrow and then partly cloudy. Currently it's 36 degrees on smooth. Smooth stars. Yeah, I love that thought, knowing that somebody is guaranteed to win $50,000 at some stage during Smooth Stars here at Smooth FM. It's Byron Wiggy here this afternoon, and Justin is probably in the best spot in the world, sitting by the beach at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, right near that ocean, getting the breeze trunk down a bit. Good on you. Well, listen, a little birdie tells me that you wouldn't mind adding $50,000 to your bank account. Absolutely. Good. Well, let's play. I love Smooth. Okay. Justin, the state of play is there are four well-known names in that, none of which we know yet, so if you can... Abattoirs in Gippsland on an interactive map for activists to see. Mr Chester says it is highly distressing for those who have been listed as their inclusion implies they abuse and exploit their animals. Mr Chester says the website claims it is an effort to force transparency on the agriculture industry, but anyone can log into this website, upload misleading information and make outlandish claims about a farming operation. Federal Member for Agriculture David Littleproud has called on the state governments to review and strengthen trespass laws, saying plenty of information on this website has already been proven wrong and it would only take one idiot to act on information from this website for a tragedy to occur. A statement has been released confirming that most of the fires across Gippsland have been contained or are under control. Regional controller Ben Rankin says the fires that were started by lightning over the past few days are under control, saying the largest fire north of Buchan is now almost 13,000 hectares and some good work has been done there to strengthen containment. Mr Rankin says they can only continue the backburning if the weather conditions are right, but they'll do small bits at a time which could potentially take the fire size to around 20,000 hectares and will create more smoke in the area. Further lightning is forecast across the region for the week and fire agencies are keeping a close watch for any more fires. And Gippsland's small businesses have a more positive outlook for this year with around a third expecting stronger revenue in 2019 according to new data. The latest MYOB business monitor also confirms the sector will be a key battleground for the federal election as SMEs look for business friendly policies. MYOB Chief Executive Tim Reid says it promises to be a somewhat better year, including for Gippsland businesses who experienced a challenging 2018. There's no secret to any of us that regional Australia had it tough in 2018. The MYOB research confirms that just over a fifth or 20% of primary producers saw revenue grow in the last 12 months. And that's well below the national average for small businesses. If there's a silver lining though, it's probably that close to a third are telling us that they expect revenue will grow in 2019. 3GG Local Sports. Reward yourself and become a member of the Mowing Racing Club today. Waterloo Road, Mowing, open seven days.
Checking Bellatro Valley Cricket Colt Mobu North defeated Mowie and Churchill went down to Morwell Tigers here in our Raiders. That's the latest 3GG local news and sport. If you have any news, send it to news at 3GG.com.au. I'm Lucy Dwyer. 3GG's four-day forecast for sunny stuff feeds. Provided some whole cereal grains and customised grain mixes. Gippsland owned for Gippsland farmers. A shower or two across the region this afternoon. Could see some thunderstorms into this evening as well. Partly cloudy, chance of showers tomorrow. A bit of cloud around on Friday and a mostly sunny day on Saturday. Warrigal down to 15, 20 the top tomorrow. Hello 17, a top of 23 for Taralga and Mowie. Leading Gatha down to 15, 23 the top. Mount Bobo down to 11 with a top of 13. Andrew and 16 tonight, 21 tomorrow. It's 33 degrees in Warrigal, 28 at the moment in Taralga and Mowie. It's 32 in Lee and Gatha, 22 at Mount Bobo and 31 in Druin. From the Capital Radio Network and streaming around the world at 3GG.com.au, welcome to Forever Classic 3GG. Now the endless summer continues with 10 from there.